Hi there, welcome to BSF Recovery Team. We got a little bit of a problem here. We we're trying to pull somebody out of the woods, bouncing up a hill through some ruts and some sand and over some rocks. You never guess what happened to the wrecker. Take a look at this. Well, what can I say other than I really wasn't surprised. You see, the wrecker had been feeling kind of weird all weekend. Kind of loose, you know? You know what the problem is there? That's right. Broken frame. We literally broke the wrecker in half. Should we take a close look and see exactly where it broke? As you can see, the frame broke right in yeah. front of some reinforcements that were already there when it was built into a wrecker. Before I explain how it happened, I want to give you a little bit of history behind the wrecker. When I got the wrecker, it was already used up and half parted out. Take a look. This is a picture I snapped the day I brought it home and just after I pushed it off the trailer. The wrecker was in real tough shape when we got it but we proceeded to build it into an off-road recovery truck. As I was rebuilding the wrecker and modifying it for off-road use, I had my suspicions about the frame. It had reinforcements welded on it, but the welds looked, how should we say, less than professional. And if you look at it in this picture, it looks like it may have been bent. I'm actually surprised that it held up as long as it did. I'm sorry I wasn't filming at the time, that the wrecker broke. But I was coming through a spot that you've seen before on my videos. Let's take a look. This is the hill I was climbing when the wrecker broke. And although the wrecker can climb this hill with no problem solo, it seems like every time I'm towing one, I have a little bit of trouble right around this bend here. Surprisingly enough, we weren't even towing anybody on the hook. We were just flat towing somebody on a strap and knew that we had to stay in the throttle a bit to get through. I didn't want to have to stop and win like we did with this recovery. So I had to gas pedal to the floor and I didn't lift. That is, until the wrecker collapsed. Then I lifted off the throttle. Now we gotta try and get the wrecker out of the woods. So how do you get a wrecker with a broken frame out of the woods? The first thing we did is we crawled underneath and pulled the rear drive shaft out because it was dangling. Then we very carefully started to drive with the front wheels pulling. We needed a little help in a couple spots, but next thing you know, we were out of the woods. Well, we got it out of the woods. All we gotta do now is get it back to the campground and on the trailer. I don't know if we'll make it. It's getting worse with every foot we go. Now we gotta get it on the trailer. Amazingly, even with a broken frame and only front wheel drive, it was able to get up on the trailer all by itself. And when we got it home, we were able to fire it up and back it off the trailer and park it beside the garage. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. If we're going to try and rebuild the wrecker or if we're going to build a new one. I know what I would like. I would like to find a nice, clean, rust-free, 80s, square-bodied, GM, cab chassis, one-ton, four-wheel drive, dually, with a 135-inch wheelbase. Now I'm dreaming. Even if I was able to find such an animal, I don't think it would be in the budget for the recovery team. Unless I got a major sponsor. But don't worry, I have a lot of footage from over the summer, so I'll keep posting videos. So keep watching BSF Recovery Team, and maybe we'll get a new record and get back out there in the woods.
you think we qualified? You think we achieved all three? I think so. 